Hey what's up guys, it's Ironman here from iDevice Forums and today I'm going to be showing you how to SSH into your iDevice on Mac by using CyberDuck. So what we're going to want to first do is we're going to want to open up Cydia on your iDevice. We'll get that open. <clears throat> and while it loads, I'm just going to want to tell you guys why it's very useful to um, know how to SSH and why it's a very nice tool to learn. Um, you can transfer your files from your iDevice to your computer and it's a really good tool to use because you can transfer files, you can edit your iPod, you can test your themes that way. It's it's You should basically, if you're jailbroken, you should know how to do this. Alright, so as we can see we have the app right here, the tweak in Cydia. So all you're going to want to do is uh, go to search and search for OpenSSH, just like that. And you're going to want to install it, but as you see I have uh, modify here, and that's because I already have it installed. So once you have it installed, you're good for your iPod for now, or your iDevice. Now what you're going to want to do is head over to your Mac, and we're going to want to open up your internet, and we're just going to search for Cyberduck, and it should you should it should bring you right up to the Google search. And you just want to click the first link, and uh, you see right over on the side we have the download for Mac. So you just want to download that and install it. But I already have it installed, so I don't need to. <clears throat> so once you have that installed, you're going to want to open it. So I'm just going to open up Cyberduck. And as you can see, we have we have Cyberduck. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to click Open Connection. And you see we have server here, but we don't know what the server is. So we're going to want to go to Settings on our iDevice. <clears throat> and um, we're going to go to Wi-Fi. And then we're just going to click this little blue arrow next to the network we're connected to. And as you can see right here, it shows you um, the IP address. Now that's the server that we're going to connect to in CyberDuck. So um, we're going to go back over to CyberDuck and we're just going to put in the, the IP address that's right here. So if, in my case, it's 192.168.1.9. Oh, and by the way, you want to set it to SFTP up top. So you're going to want to put in the, the IP address. And the username is going to be root. And the password is going to be Alpine. Spelled A-L-P-I-N-E. Now you're just going to want to click Connect. And um, it, sometimes it might say it's a host key mismatch. That's fine. You just can click allow. And there we go. We are in the um, iDevice. So here we have library. And as you can see, we have our address, book, and stuff. Now to go back or go up a folder, you just click this button right here. And it'll bring you up a folder where we just were. But if you want to go back, you can just click the button right here. So we want to go to the very, as far up as you can go. So now we're in the basic root of the iDevice. Now if we go into Applications, you can see we have all the stock apps that basically you cannot delete on the iDevice. So we have, um, as you can see, we have Camera... Game Center, Mobile Calculator, uh, Mail, Notes, Phone, Safari, SMS. Now, once you do that, you're basically all good. And, yep, that's it. So, 